So if there's one thing I hate, it's when something like Imani Khalif being called a biological man gets proven wrong with just a simple Google search, but every fart sucking retard ignores that because it's the first thing they heard and their brain can literally not process new information fast enough. That literally does not make sense to me. Especially when you're not some random idiot who's on Twitter all day. As you guys know, and I made a video on it, but people are still calling the Algerian boxer Imani Khalif a man because some Italian lady started bitching about getting hit too hard. She later did apologize, but the damage was already done. And with how many layers there were to this conspiracy onion people were passing around, there was no way anyone was going to believe even the truth because of how many different things they were going to have to believe. Which, when you think about it, is fucking stupid. Wouldn't you want more proof to back up your claim? Whatever. Another big part that played in everyone believing that this was real was that the International Boxing Association, the ones who apparently tested Imani and concluded that she was a man but kept the specifics of the test private, were the only ones who did the test but were silent throughout the whole thing. Because of this, for some reason, people were like, I guess they're telling the truth. Not realizing that this piece of shit organization had its Olympic status revoked because of corruption and is the literal reason why boxing won't be in the 2028 Olympics. Not only that, they actually tried to offer Angela Carini, the Italian boxer, a hundred thousand dollars, which would have been what she had won had she not been a crybaby b in disguise. But something else that played a big part in everyone attacking Imani were influencers giving their unwanted thoughts and or beliefs on this situation. Elon Musk replied to a tweet saying, men don't belong in women's sports. Hashtag, I stand with Angela Carini with absolutely. Doc, don't make me start a protest outside Tesla for no other purpose than to scream at you that your son is now a daughter. I'll do it. I'll know I know where the factory is. It says Tesla on the side in big fucking letters. JK Rowling. Yeah. Yeah, the Harry Bladder writer even tweeted out, Could any picture sum up our new men's rights movement better? The smirk of a man who knows he's protected by a misogynist sporting establishment enjoying the distress of a woman he's just punched in the head and whose life's ambitions he's just shattered. Dog. She thinks she's writing a fucking book. What's really funny is that someone replied to her with, Algeria doesn't recognize trans identity, you stupid cow. And it's like, yeah, that's one of the things you can Google. They will fucking behead you in the middle of downtown if they finding out you're changing genders over there. But guess who else who came in with even more non-factual tweets? That's right, the only man who can make himself look worse than a place literally called the Suicide Forest. Logan Paul tweeted out this novel, if you will, being like, y'all are disgusting for allowing this to happen. If I ever get my hands on the woman who let this happen, I'll... But after finding out that he was completely wrong, he's like, oopsies, I may have made a severe lapse in judgment, but y'all are still sick and twisted fucks. And it's like, you of all people cannot refer to anyone as a sick fuck unless you're referring to how wickedly sick they are. But with the combination of everything I just told you, there has been irreversible damage done to Imani Khalif's career. Like even after it was proven that she's a girl with a genetic condition, people are still like, he should go fight with his fellow man. Leave it to an account called Curry Glazer to go tell someone to play with other men. Your account is gayer than I am, dog. Steph Curry looks at your account and laughs at how pathetic you are. Or this guy, keep males out of women's sports. Dog, have you even played any sports? You look like you throw a football with two hands, let alone know anything about what you're commenting on. But obviously, if you were in Imani's position, you're looking down there and you're like, I don't see any dick and balls. So she decided that she's going to file a cyberbullying lawsuit against Twitter, which names Elon Musk and JK Rowling personally. It's been reported that the 25 year old has since filed a cyberbullying lawsuit in France, which names Trump, ex CEO Elon Musk, and British author JK Rowling. And just to be clear, she's not going after Twitter itself, but more so the people posting about her and the fact that Elon is letting these lies be spread. Because if you remember, there weren't any community notes on anyone calling Imani a guy. To this day, this post that compares her boxing to a South Park episode where it says Khalif is a biological man has nothing correcting it. And Elon is letting that happen. This dude will literally not let you call someone cisgender on Twitter, but you can call them God forbid you call someone cisgender. And Elon wonders why nobody wants to advertise on Twitter. Guys, I'm a billionaire. Trust me, you're going to want to advertise on my website. 
Why is my ad being played after someone called a black person monkey? Free speech? <laughs> see you guys tomorrow. Actually, no. There's UFC tomorrow. So see you guys Sunday and or Monday. Peace.